I dropped out of high school when I was 10th grade. I don't really have any roots. I don't have like childhood friends. I don't have a childhood home. I was constantly in transition. I was always uh, alone. More often than not, the only person like me. I never felt a connection with anybody. And I always felt as though uh, I was having to uh, overcome that initial obstacle, getting familiar with people and getting to know people based on whatever their preconceptions were of, of who I was based on their experience and, and, and the way that I looked in relation to whatever their experience was. Like there was some banks that I would skate at. I started bringing this little stencil with me and like stenciling the Thrasher logo, you know, and like it was completely naive. Like I had no idea what I was doing, but like that was my way of like kind of doing graffiti too or whatever, you know? And I, I remember just being like so stoked on that. And then like when other kids would see it, and I would like hear them talking because like nobody knew I was, was me doing it. And I hear all the other kids like talk about it. And I remember just being like so geeked and thrilled that like the way that they, you were trying to make sense out of it or whatever, you know? And then eventually, you know, around 12, 13 years old, I worked up enough nerve, probably had enough like little mini autonomy, you know, started feeling like bold enough to like sneak out my house and do shit like that. Um, I like made a name for myself. You know, and uh, I remember the very first time I snuck out of my house at night to like go uh, bomb the like route that everybody went to school, you know? And, um, and then the next day, walking to school, and you know, I did it all by myself, and like walking to school and like listening to other kids, like, like, like watching them see it and see their reaction to it and hearing them talk about it. It just, it, it just I, you know, to like a young kid, uh, you know, it, it was just, it was a life-changing kind of experience for me. And then, you know, the more, the more committed to it, and the more energy I put into it, the little kind of baby steps of progress I made. You know, I guess it was the first time in my life I felt like I had any kind of real power. I felt for the first time in my life that I was able to, to really kind of uh, be my true self and be um, received by others based on who I was versus who they perceived me to be. Sure, I got a few regrets. I've done the best with, with the tools that I have. I don't have any answers or, or pretend to posture as if I've got anything figured out or I know something more than anybody else, but I, I didn't, I didn't uh, have any paths that I saw that seemed available or, or accessible to me that uh, were appealing to me. I somehow got really fucking lucky and fortunate. Just happened to hit the lottery with being born at the moment in which I was born. You destroyed my interior, Bosley. Why are these things so foamy? You're not filming me wipe my interior down, are you? No. Come on, that doesn't need to be in the video. It's just such a weird, like we're like two miles outside of downtown. Right. Look at this, just like, op we're almost in the countryside. It feels almost like <laughs> yeah. we're in a rural, we're like in rural Ohio or something yeah, right exactly. now, you know? I mean, for somebody like me, it was like, I mean, it was like, a, a fantasy scenario I, the, the thing that I've spent my whole life kind of doing it like it thrives on neglected space right, yeah. you know so like to have this like massive city almost kind of empty and completely right. neglected uh, it was just it, it felt like anything was possible you, you almost, you're like fighting for fighting to exist you right, know you're yeah. fighting you're fighting to maintain a, a, a presence like proof proof of your life you know this is America this is the richest country in the world look at this look at look at that this is the richest country in the world 
You gotta be rich yeah, exactly. to do anything. But here yeah. you could be a fucking shithead. Yeah. <laughs> you could be a shithead and buy a, yeah. buy a building and a house. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, everything we love and enjoy yeah. is the product of a shithead. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Funny how that works. Yeah. People that do things that don't necessarily make sense. A big part of my uh, kind of motivation for coming here was to pursue uh, making this body of work that was like totally kind of a new thing for me. A lot of it has to do with the tension and the balance of, uh, of order and uh, unpredictability and kind of chaos within, within this kind of intention of doing things a certain way or, or, or f following a certain formula. The, the works that I'm making here uh, that, are, that are in this body of work are all the product of some kind of tool or, or system of tools that I've, uh, I don't want to say invented, but I've kind of uh, created for the purpose of making this work. I wanted to reconnect and, and revisit like the very first, like the very first, um, the, real, the real excitement and energy and th thrill of just using spray paint on a surface it's not supposed to be on. You know what I mean? The very first time uh, I stole a can of Red Devil Ruddy Brown primer out of my neighbor's garage <laughs> and I snuck out of my window at night. The very first time I like tagged on a wall, just I was, I was like so nervous and like terrified, but like so fucking excited at the same time. And just like that thrill like of just like making a, a mark on the wall for the first time, like seeing like how like uh, just dirty and like messy, quick and kind of powerful and like how, how immediate. Like it felt like this, like crossing a line, crossing a boundary, obviously like breaking the law, but also personally, like morally kind of crossing a line. Painting is like an act of like criminality or something, you know, painting is an act of like Mark making and painting is an act of like defiance, is, an, is, a, is a, uh, a way of kind of crossing uh, a boundary and stepping outside of like society and becoming like against, uh, against everybody and everything, you know? Making yourself other, making like choosing a side and, and making yourself an outcast and a criminal instead of being like a, a good person that's kind of like in line with the, the flow of things, you know? The reason why I've spent my whole life acting like a big kid is because being a kid's awesome. <laughs> life sucks, life's stressful. Responsibilities and obligations and bills and mortgages and you know, all that shit's fucking stressful. I wanna, I wanna paint and, and experience joy or at, or at the very least be so uh, present and immersed in the, in the in the a state of being uh that at least for a moment you have like a little a little escape from that